The King Killer Chronicles by Pat Rothfuss is one of the best new fantasy series of the last few decades. The books were instantly beloved by fans and critics alike. A film, TV show, and video game are all in the works with Lin-Manuel producing, so yeah, you're gonna be hearing about this series for a long time to come. While we wait very, very, very eagerly for the third installment, we thought it would be fun to get you up to speed by summarizing these first two massive works in just... Okay, ready? Go. We start in an inn where we meet the place's owner, Quoth, and his assistant, Bast. But actually, this unassuming ginger innkeeper, Quoth, is named Quoth, and Quoth is a living legend. His cover is blown, and Quoth saves a traveling scribe's life. The scribe, aka the chronicler, is like, hey, Quoth, why don't you let me write down the badass story of your life? Quoth says, okay, but it's gonna take three days, hence three books. Flashback to Quoth's childhood. Quoth's parents lead a troupe of traveling performers. He's trained to act, sing, and play lute, and he's really good at all three. Quoth's kind of good at everything. It's like a theme of the book. His dad is super into researching Chandrian, aka the mythical bad guys of the world. <laughs> okay, dad, whatever, like, <laughs> cool. Quoth heads out to the woods one day, and when he comes back, he finds the whole troupe, including mom and dad, massacred by actual Chandrian. Yeah, not so mythical after all. They're real. After a few years of living as a petty thief on the streets, the orphan Quoth decides to make something of his talented self and gets a admitted to the university, which is like a more mature, kind of steampunkier Hogwarts. And there meets his rival Ambrose, and some friends too, Fela, Sim, and Will. Quoth is a brilliant but willful student, his love interest Denna and Quoth defeat a Dracus dragon. And then comes the book's climax, when Quoth and Ambrose get in a fight during which Quoth is able to summon the wind, which is like this really important, mythical, hard to do magic thing, and he doesn't really understand how he's doing it, but man, he wants to learn. The fight gets Quoth in a lot of trouble, but also causes master namer, and maybe crazy person, Elodin, to accept Quoth as a student. He's gonna learn how to name that wind. Book two, The Wise Man's Fear, picks up where Quoth's origin story left off in book one. Duh, of course it does. Quoth can't afford tuition at the university, so like lots of teens, he takes out some ill-advised student loans with Debbie, a cutthroat but ultimately honest and loyal moneylender. Quoth then gets in some hot water at the university after he sets Ambrose's rooms on fire, long story, and his teachers are like, why don't you go out of town for a few months and let this blow over? Quoth heads to the city of Severin to help their mayor woo this lady that he wants to marry. It's weird. The mayor convinces Quoth to hunt down a group of bandits who are messing with his tax collectors. Quoth agrees and meets Tepi, a fellow mercenary who teaches him Kitan, an ancient and secret martial art. Thanks, Tempe. Things are looking okay for Quoth. They beat the bandits, but after the battle, Quoth is led into the woods by mythical woodland sex goddess Felurian. Quoth stays with her for three normal days, but to Quoth, it feels like months. Love is crazy, lust is even crazier. Okay, so remember how Tempe taught Quoth Kitan, that ancient fighting style? Okay, well, Tempe's leaders find out, and they are both in deep shit, because that stuff was a secret. Quoth goes back to Tempe's homeland, where his people end up teaching Quoth even more about their fighting style, because he's Quoth. They let him go and even give him a cool sword to boot. Quoth heads back to Severin and the mayor, but when he gets back, he disses the mayor's new wife, and the mayor's like, that's not cool. So Quoth heads back to the university with some new fighting skills from Tempe and some love-making skills, courtesy of Florian. Back in the present day, we find out that Quoth has gotten his ass kicked, but Bass staged the whole thing, trying to wake the hero that he knows lies in Quoth. It's not working. But we have a feeling that it will in The Doors of Stone, the third book due out in whatever Pat Rothfuss writes it. And damn, do we hope that's soon. No pressure, though, Pat, take your time. Let us know your predictions for Quoth's story in the comments below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.